Well, I'll extend your compliments to her. Uh, it's always you. You see someone so special. All right, so, so thank you. Thank you guys for coming. I'll extend your compliments as well. Thank you. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Hello. Sorry, I think you should go back in and wait for her. Um, no, don't worry, I'm, I'm fine here. I'm good. No, come on, go in and wait. I hope she gets here soon. I'll wait for her here. It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to go in? No, I'm okay. Yeah. Are you okay? Sorry, I I came to offer my condolence. It's a pity we lost your father. Isn't it obvious? If I wanted to hear the sorry, I would have been here long before the guest left. I I don't mean to upset you. Who the hell are you? I, I am Don't answer. My father is dead and gone. Which of course makes me sad. And I don't know how sorry you are. Now please, leave me alone. No, I, I do not mean any... for people to come and grieve with you. Hmm, you're right. But I'm not in the mood to grieve with anyone. So get rid of him. Valerie! Valerie! Okay. God save you, my friend. <clears throat> So how was your week? It was just there. Uh, maybe in the week. I'm a bit disappointed. What do I do? You forgot you're supposed to go work in the week and leave it there. What you asked for before you traveled. So why is he lying here unattended to? Should have taken it to my father. Just go. Hold all my calls. I don't want to be disturbed. Okay.
Your secretary told me. Where are you? Ma, what's he doing here? Didn't I tell you that I don't want to be disturbed or visitors? Yes, you did, my boy. It's okay, Rosa. You can go back to your work. I work here. Excuse me. <laughs> I am the director of operations here. That's impossible. I'm the director of operations here. You can verify from here, child, if you doubt me. Put Mr. Tunebo down the line. My office now. If this is a prank, you better stop it before I call the security on you. Be my guest. Thanks, Mr. Desmond. Oh, come on. How many times have I told you to drop the sad thing? Good morning, Mom. Morning, Good morning, Mr. Tunde. Do you know this man? Yes, I do. Fred wanted out. I saw the envy sold these shares to him. Practically making Mr. Joe here part of the company. I want to see the paperwork on that. I think I... This will take a while to go through. I can see my dad's signature. Well, the company is mine now, which means I decide who and what works here. My company will pay back all your shares and will leave you of all your responsibility with immediate effect. <laughs> But she's with someone. That is even good for us. So tell me, did you miss me? It came highly recommended by your father. My father is late. The contract is binding. And any attempt by us to breach it will cost the company. Which is expected. But avoidable. Well, it's my decision and the board to make. His point is, your company is broke. What is he talking about? Well, the company is bankrupt and it's been two months. How come I didn't know about it? Well, your father wanted to keep a tight lead on it. Okay, so my name is Joe Adache, Director of Operations. I am sorry you're getting to find out this way. Your father came to me realizing I was interested in investments. I saw the prospects and um, we agreed upon everything you can find in that contract. We also agreed that I stayed close to my investment so as not to allow anything to go wrong this time. And the company is highly dependent on its capital. That's impossible. <laughs> well, I called you last week and I was supposed to take it for us to go see you. Really? You know where I'm going. Ah. <laughs> Up just now. What are you still waiting for? Get him for me now. He's been out of the country, ma. Since when? Um, not certain. Nobody tells me anything anymore. 
I think he traveled before you got back. Okay. Keep a tab on him. Let me know as soon as he arrives. Okay. Relax. No, that. She's with someone and you won't like the atmosphere. I'll suggest you wait till it's over. Mm -hmm. I can see some version of it already. Uh, who is she looking inside? Where's Mr. Tunde? I left after you. We are sitting in London. There's something important I want us to discuss urgently. It's bad enough I have to share my position with you. You can come in here and boss me around. I am not bossing you around. I've got work to do. Now leave. Shut the door behind you. I mean, how did he do that? I'm being serious here. Serious with why in World War? Okay, what is wrong? Uncle Desmond is here to help. I'm broke. You are always broke. The company is bankrupt, Desmond. Oh my god. How did that happen? If I knew, I wouldn't be broke. So what would you do now? I don't know what my father got himself into. Uh, maybe you should probably talk to his lawyer. He may know something. If he knew, he would have told me. Now, what about that guy that's always hanging around? Mr. Wana. Exactly. He should know something. He's out of the country. We, we can't just sit here and wait for him to come back. We have to figure a way. I mean, we out of this thing. My father already did. God was indebted to that guy that just left. How? The short of it is, I have to share my position with him while his money keeps us running. Hmm. Small price to pay. Oh. Boss lady don't like to share, huh? It's going to be a rough year. You will be fine. I hope so. So, how have you been? Ah, miserable. I'd rather not bore you with the sad stories of cancer patients in my hospital. What, what? What is that in the fridge? Oh my God. You just sit back. No. <laughs> your security guy so I checked and I found your specky where he hid it very brilliant hiding spot seriously nobody could have found it 
I don't even know what to do with that guy. <laughs> I think I have to call the security company to send me someone else. You might have to, yes. <laughs> so how have you been? I'm fine. How is Lagos? Lagos is fine, but we miss you. When are you coming back? I don't know yet, honestly. Well, it's a good thing you're here. We have a lot to catch up on. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I made myself at home. And I cooked something you're going to love. I just can't oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> What have you gotten me into? I wish you were here to explain all this to me. I miss you, Dad. Anne, I'm home. Anne, are you there? Babe, where are you? Uh-uh, why didn't you tell me now? I'm fine. You've been a great friend. Go take care of your business, okay? Alright, bye. tried. You know, your father is a very stubborn man. Let me get this straight. Why would someone who deals on security equipment suddenly decide to invest in oil? Ah. I will not fault him there, Valerie. I will not. You know, your dad saw it as an opportunity to double up his investment. And when Joe Grace came up with the offer, your dad went for it. I won't blame him for that. How did he manage to pump the company resources without leaving anything to fall back for? That beats me. I want to hate him, but I can't. Valerie, you'll be all right. You'll be okay. Take it easy. I don't know what to do. He's nowhere to be found. I think you should let the police handle the case. I'm not done with police case. I will handle it my way. Look, I will not advise you to meddle in police business. Too late. My business. My money. Look at you. Look at your father. Like daughter. Like father. <laughs> okay. Let me ask you a question. Yes, go ahead. If the table was turned, what would you do? Mm. Valerie, I understand you. But I'll still insist, let the police take care of it. You see, it's going to be safest for all of us, including you. You know your father, he will not want anything to happen to you. He won't put you in arm's way. Too late. I understand how you feel, Valerie. I do. But you see, it is safest if the police handle the case. 
everybody will be safe, including you. Your father will not put you in arms where you know that. Come on. Yeah. It's too late. Well, you're a tigress. I know you can handle this. Well, I gotta go now. I need to go pick up my grandchildren from school. How are they? They are lovely, they're beautiful. With their little feet all running around the house. Oh, I gotta go. You take good care of yourself. I'm not around. What? Uh, I've been telling her that for the past... I, I, like... Tell her again. Um, wait. Tell her to travel out of the country. What if she asks where to? So, sorry, ma'am. What is it again, Rhoda? Please tell her anything. Just don't let her see me. What do you need? I'm sorry. I know I went out of line. I have come to make peace and my peace took. It's just lunch. I didn't know what to get that. I remember your father telling me you liked vegetable soup. I never ask for it. And if I'm hungry, I know where to get it. All you have is coldness. I'm sure your dad was disappointed how his very sweet baby girl turned into an ice-cold queen that his heart gave out. Where is the sense of humor? <laughs> You're such a bad sight to see in a very bright morning. I did. This one. Wait. I can smell vegetable soup. Oh my god. You can have it if you want. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay. It's the hospital. One of my patients just had a relapse. Oh. Sorry about to be. I'll call you later. Be fine. Okay? <laughs> Isn't that the food I bought for you? So? I know you don't like me. Joke. Let me talk. I am not the problem here. I am not the enemy. I'm not even asking to be your friend. All I want is some level of civility so we can get this company out of this hole. All this animosity won't help. I trust you know that. I don't... I was hoping you would go through the Hassan fire. Your father gave it to me before he died. My father gave it to you? Yes. He said it's a gold mine. Yeah. He's right. Okay. I'll go now.
have a nice place here. Credit to my dad. Obviously. Sorry. <laughs> do you ever have time to have fun? Excuse me? I mean, do you find time to relax and unwind? But that's not an option right now. I have people to look after. Like? I have people who depend on what we pay them at the end of every month to survive. If the company goes down, I will be okay. But they might not be I. And how fast do you think you can save the world with a headache? Yeah, I notice the way you touch your forehead every five minutes. You really do need some rest, you know. Hang out with me. I'm meeting up with friends at Chops. Sorry I don't do crowd. Okay, we go solo then. I promise you it won't hurt. We'll leave whenever you want us to. We won't stay long. So basically you're the boss. So I have a deadline for Monday. I've got a lot on my plate right now. Come on, it's Friday. You have the whole weekend ahead of you. I have a crash course maybe next time. Okay then. I should take my leave so you can go on with your TGIW square. What's that? Thank God it's working weekend. Okay. I'll be fine. You have fun. Fine, have the rest. Thank you. Play me like that. I thought we've gone past this. What are you talking about? Don't you play dumb with me. You very well know what I'm talking about. I haven't done anything. I simply went ahead to do what's best for the company. What's best for the company? What's best for you? Don't insult. You deserve everything that comes your way. You spoiled brat. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, you need to calm down. Stay out of this. What do you want? I have tried being professional. I've tried being nice. What else do you want? My blood? Leave my company alone! Don't tell that to your father! Oh, he's dead. Don't ever talk about my... Shut up! I'm done putting up with your crap. I had an agreement with your father. And the Hassan contract was very well part of that deal. But you go behind my back, taking advantage of my niceness, you steal my client, Stealing my weapons? You think you're the only one with stealing skills, huh? If you push me... Now you listen to me. One, don't ever tell me to shut up. Two, I have been pitching for the Hassan's deal for years now. Why my father gave it to you, I will never know. Does that justify what you did? I haven't done anything questionable. Besides, I struck a better deal. Oh, using daddy's name, huh? Are you questioning my skills? Now you stop it. Both of you, okay? I've always known you were mean. But selfish and cruel? Now this levels the playing ground. You think you're smart? You think you can play this game? Bring it on. Joe, Joe, wait. Wait, there, there is a... Uh... What the hell was all that about? Oh, that's a rhetorical question. What did you do to piss that guy off? I have been working with my father in this company all my life. Do you know how it hurts to realize your father didn't trust you to discuss challenges? let alone to handle them. After dedicating my everything to build his dream, which eventually became my dream, what is wrong? 
protecting what is mine. You are stepping on toes. I'll wait before you strike me with your killer mouth. I mean, you don't have to be cruel to show people you are protective. In fact, that will be daring them into an endless power tussle. On whose side are you? On your father's. I mean, I don't want all that he's labored for come crashing down because Valerie couldn't. Or should I say, would not want to control her irritation. In business, you learn to keep your competition closer. And that can only happen when you play nice. I mean, a little compromise here and there. I mean, didn't they teach you that in business school? Not playing nice is a lawsuit waiting to happen. And right now, you don't need that. Why should I be taking business advice from someone who never sweat for anything? Damn you, Valerie. You know that dude was right. You are cruel. And where are you going to? To where I'm appreciated. Giving up already? No. I just hate being around mean Valerie who don't like hearing the bitter truth about herself. Wrong <laughs> coward! Ruth, hurry up with the files. As you can see, I'm on my way. Good morning. Back to you. I won't waste much of your time. That's not it. Please. Hmm. You said please. Okay, this should be interesting. Um, sorry, sir. The copy wasn't working. I had to. Good morning, ma'am. But um, it's ready now. Just need the signature. Okay, then. Take this to the car and we kill it. So, what can I do for you? I'm sorry. Okay, can I go now? I know I deserve every treatment I get from you right now. But please don't be me. <sighs> Sit down. Thank you. I shouldn't have done what I did. I didn't mean to hurt you or become territorial. I guess the deed is done already. But I'm truly and honestly sorry. This bill is too much. Did a good job with it. And the Hassans want you. I was able to strike a better deal because of the lead you took. And you critically opened up channels which I wouldn't have looked through if I had started the groundwork. It might not seem like it. But my father, my father always knew what was right. Sorry for taking much of your time. Wait. I know what you're giving up. Thank you. What difference will that make? It's 
Slamming stuff will not make any difference either. I can't believe we've been going around for months now, thinking he spent the company money on that fraudulent business. There must be an explanation to that. I'm tired. I'm tired of having to lie to our clients. Technically, you didn't lie. You were just trying to buy us time. I wish he was here to explain what happened. Valerie, we can do this. I mean, we can't keep waiting for the company phone to resurface. We must devise a means to get the company out of this mess. Can we do that? Listen, if there was no company to inherit, wouldn't you do all you can to make something out of nothing? I guess I would. Good. So stop being daddy's girl and believe we can do this. Is that a yes? Say it like you mean it. Yes. Good. First, we have to start making some calls. No, 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 no. Yeah, I have the file with me now. I'm not disputing it. The fact we have to get this right, you know? are tight here. I mean, I've been patiently waiting for the delivery, trusting your word, but you failed. You've been in business with Seaford for years now, and you had no cause to worry. And now we are. We are worried. Please, I'm asking. I'm pleading. Just give us enough. Look, Valerie, I have listened do you say something over and over again since we got here? All we need is a refund. Or better, the gadgets duly paid for. Can you make that happen? But... No more buts. Listen, I'm sitting on calls here, young woman. And your uncertainty is definitely begging for a lawsuit. Michael, let's go. Please don't go. Please. Your father was a good man. And I hope nothing happens to the legacy he left behind. You will hear from our lawyer. Oh. 
Valerie. Not now. What is it? Please, not now. I met some very pissed off clients on my way here. I'm tired of talking. That was Engineer Beth Cow, CEO M and N Ventures. She had to come because we couldn't deliver. Why? I mean, we still have some supplies in the warehouse, don't we? I wish. We had nothing selling in stock. Eh? We sold that last batch before I traveled. We're still collecting clients' order. Yes, so we, we, we can't restock our supply because all the money paid in is gone? That company is one of our biggest suppliers. And now we're losing them. This is the fifth company we're losing this week. Shit. So what do we do now? There's nothing we can do. I'm short on ideas. There must be something we're missing. I think... You tell me. Aren't you the genius? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. I need to get back to work. Worry won't help. A prison won't be nice for either of us, you know. Speak for yourself. I got to tell you something. Will you bring money? What I'm about to tell you is something your father never wanted you to know before he died, but as it is now, I have no option. I don't understand. Your father was onto something before he passed on. Someone is taking money from the company. Who? Why? Are you serious? I'm just surprised to see it, that's all. Come and give me some sugar and stop asking too many questions. Hi. Hello. I'm Anne. Valerie's bestie. <laughs> I thought that was Desmond. Or pretend I didn't hear that. That's what I was saying. So what are your plans for tomorrow? Tomorrow, what plans? Don't tell me you have forgotten. Forgotten what? Happy birthday in advance. Oh my god. I don't know how you manage to forget every single year. And then Auntie Anne has to always come to the rescue. Your very personal fairy godmother. Okay, can we keep it simple this year? You say that every time and my answer remains the same. Okay, how about we go to the orphanage in the morning? and organize something little for close friends. Mm, that sounds nice. But for now, I'm taking you shopping. Do you need me there? Of course. I need you to get in the fudging mood before tomorrow. I'm still working. Are you on the bus? Nobody will fire you. Valerie, please get to a plane for Valerie, see, forget your ass off that seat. Let's go. She's yeah. still working, girl. <laughs> You're missing him. Um. Are you coming tomorrow? And stop. I'm inviting you personally. You need to come tomorrow. Promise. What's your name again? I didn't say it. Mm -hmm. Sassy too. I like you. Anyways, you're going to have to come tomorrow. Babe, let's go. Don't keep me waiting. <laughs> I have to go. If not, she won't stop. I like her. So does a thousand other men. Where's my bag? Oh my 
my god, that's not lucky. It's very true. You know what I mean? So this man? Yes. What's your date's name? Oh, mm. Tonya. <coughs> Dude, it's Tonya. Oh, Tanya. No! Tonya. As in T O N Nya. You know, this food is so good, I could have strangled someone if I wasn't here on time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you came, at least I don't have to face all these hands, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, lovely ladies. <laughs> so, happy birthday, Valerie. Yes, happy birthday, darling. We wish you more fabulous years ahead. Oh. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The old door. For you to be celebrating your birthday on this table with just five people. <laughs> no. I was just saying that if it was my birthday with the world, girl, Kim K will be my chef. And Kanye will be sipping me drink all night long. Um, and um, Joe doesn't have a wine glass. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let me call it. Wait. Waiter! Waiter! Let me get it myself. Okay. Do you know nobody actually expects you to talk, right? But I'll just... Oh, just shut up. Mm -hmm. You actually haven't told me your name yet. Yeah, Joe. Uh, yeah, that is the guy that I've got. The guy out. that's done what? I mean, that the guy that works with uh, Valerie at the office. Mm, yes, I remember. That was the first place we met, at Valerie's office. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you should let Brito your talk. Valerie, are you okay? Are you okay, Valerie? Valerie, that's it. Are you okay? Have you get some water? I'm fine. You sure? I'm we need fine. to go to the fine. hospital. Let's get that water. Valerie, how can you say you're fine? You, you nearly slumped. You need to go to the hospital. I said I'm fine. You're not I fine. can see only one doctor in this room, and I can say let's go to the hospital. Guys, drop it. I said I'm fine. She said she's fine. Hmm? Are you sure it's not what I told her before that I made her to skip? If she hears you, I'll make sure you fend for the rest of the night. And don't even ask me how I'll do that. I think I need some fresh air. Yeah. I'm coming. Are you sure it's okay she goes alone? Valerie, are you sure? Okay she goes alone. Valerie? We're fine. Valerie, Valerie. You're fine. Valerie. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, that reminds me. You said my dad found out someone was taking money from the company. Yes, he did. And who could that be? I don't know. He didn't tell me. He died before he could. Valerie, don't jump into conclusions. Your father actually died two days before he could tell me who it was. That was even the reason he brought me into this company. He didn't know who to trust anymore. Even me? No, no, don't take it like that. Not like he doesn't trust you, but he couldn't have brought you into this. He did not know what powers he was up against. Someone who could dupe a multi-billion Naira company is no one to joke with. And you don't expect him to bring a daughter into this, especially one who cannot even... can't what? Nothing. I will find out who is responsible for this. And when I do... Can you let me handle this? Joe, don't ask me to remain in the rain for a thief to be done with my house. I know, just leave this to me. I mean it already. He's given me some files containing information on the result of his investigation, but 
a lot still needs to be done. I see. I think that is a good place to start with. Yes. Now you need some rest. Let's just, just go find some way to sit up. What did you find out? I'm sure this answers all your questions. Aren't you going to confirm it? I trust it's complete. Okay. Hang on, I'm coming. Responsible. Are you saying what I'm thinking? Yes. No, look, there's no hot water in here. Valerie, what is she doing here? What? What are you talking? Valerie, what? What's the. Valerie! Valerie! Wait! Wait. 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 Explain everything. Um, okay, so Listen, I... What's she doing? I don't know, ma... Who is she? Are you asking me? Uh, I'm sorry, ma... Well, I don't know how she got in here. You're fired. Oh, ma, please. I'm so sorry, ma. Valerie... Get out and take her along with you. Valerie, listen to me! She didn't even see when I came in. She was at a photocopier when I snuck in, okay? So don't fire her, please. I'm sorry, Ma, please. Rita, please can you go? This is between me and my sister. Please go. I'm sorry, Ma, please. I'm sorry. You're lucky I haven't turned you over to the authorities. Yes, Valerie. But why haven't you? Hmm? It's because you know what I'm truly capable of doing. Capable of killing Dad? Do you really believe that I did that? <laughs> Don't play games with me. Valerie, look at me you now. Look at me. Do I look like somebody who's here to play games? You better turn yourself over to the police. I have no motive. None at all. I loved our father just as much as you did, so why? Why would I kill him? Because you stole from him. And he was close to finding out. Okay, wait. 
Do you know this for a fact? Or are you just guessing? Is that what this is? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Now get out. Get out. No. Get out. What are you doing here? I told you to let me handle this. Valerie, please allow me to explain. I didn't know she was your sister. You knew my father. Knew me even before you met me. How could you not have known she's my sister? I should have known. I, 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 I just... I should... Both of you should take your lying selves out of my company. As for you, you might have successfully killed my dad. Drained his company. Rendering all his legacy useless. Or you won't get away with it. She didn't do it. I thought you didn't know she's my sister. Can you listen to me and trust me? Trust you? For what reason? Reasons like... I was made to suffer for my parents' affair. I was made to suffer for my mother's sin. Yeah, you're right. Cry out. Defenseless bastard. I said it. If you have a problem with that, take it out with your mother. Oh, I'm sorry. We need um, this fight to be out in 10 minutes. We need your signature line. Thank you for signing it. I guess I have to just come back later. She's dead. My mother is dead. Valerie, I did a lot of things, but killing our father is not part of them. I did not do that. But you stole from him. I don't expect you to understand why I did anything that I did. I might not understand why. What if what you did sent him to an early grave? Valerie, I, I can answer all your questions. I can answer all your ifs. I might even be able to lead you to the person who killed our father, but Joe? He's not the person you shouldn't trust. You know who killed that? Frida. I'm Frida. Valerie! Valerie, talk to me. What's that? Who's there? Valerie! You know, crying won't solve this problem. I mean, all you need to do right now is to stick on your medication and just cut down on stress. Then report here weekly for your treatment. Hmm? Be strong. You'll be fine. Okay? Yes. 
Valerie, privacy time yes. over. Get up. Get up already. What are they doing here? What is Frida doing in my house? Valerie, technically this is my house too. Get out. <clears throat> Wait, Valerie, come. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Are you okay? Is she sick or <laughs> is it just me? I'm fine. Are you? I'm just tired. Why are you changing the subject? Tell her to leave my house. Valerie, please, I just want to talk, please. Get out. Valerie, all she wants to do is talk. Then you listen to her. Valerie, I understand perfectly. I know you have a right to be angry. I'm even surprised you haven't called the authorities. Get out. Valerie. The problem with you is you expect everyone to be perfect. Well, in the real sense, no one is perfect. So can you just please just listen to her? Please. Exactly. She's your sister and you grew up in the same house. Do you honestly think she killed your father? Listen to her. Indulge her so you can get her off your head. That's what you want. Please. Please. You want the clock? Okay. Well, my, my mother was involved in a bike accident. She had spinal cord dislocation and brain damage. She was in and out of coma many times. The doctor said it would take about 78 million naira for her surgery. And where was I supposed to get that kind of money from? The ideal thing was to ask our father and, and I did. But Auntie frustrated my every move. That's Auntie. Auntie Flora, your mother. But right, listen, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. She made me believe Daddy did not want anything to do with his mistress or her bastard child. She didn't even give me the chance to explain or. And before I knew what was happening. My mom's case was irreversible. I swore. I vowed to make your family pay for the pain that we went through. But not once, Valerie, I swear. Not once did I ever wish death on our father. I just, I wanted him to feel the frustration, to feel the pain, to feel the helplessness. I agree it was not my finest moments, but I wanted to take from him that thing that he refused to part with, that thing that destroyed my life, that thing that took my money away, his money. But if I had known, Valerie, I swear, if I had known that daddy would be killed, I would, I would have done, I would have done anything, I swear. I'm fine. So I'm sorry. Hello? Yeah. I'm sorry, honey. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. What's it for? It's a proposal for Fraser Court. I'm meeting with the MD tomorrow, so I need you to vet it before I present it to them. Okay, my secretary will bring them to you when I'm done. Okay. Valerie, are you feeling okay? 
I mean, you've lost a lot of weight and you're looking pale. Sorry, I asked. Yes. No, I'm just being truthful, honestly. I'm not, <laughs> not being truthful. You're being mischievous. What's wrong in saying the truth? <laughs> so that's the truth. Mm -hmm. you, you're sure that's the only reason you're saying it. Very sure. Very sure. No, stop laughing and, and trivializing it. It's, it's not funny. <laughs> okay, now you make me look like a joker, you know. No, you're not a joker, but you know that you had a little bit of this None and that thing at is it. All. Honestly, All right. okay, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean for it to come across as funny, you know. Sure, no problem. Yeah, but... Alright, sure, Valerie, good morning. <clears throat> Shouldn't you be walking instead of? Instead of what? Yeah, you know, spending valuable time flirting. That is not why you're here. Valerie, there's a reason you employed me. And I am working my butt off for this situation. That you got it into. When did you become this bitter woman? When? What you want. Maybe you should listen to your own advice. Frida. What? You're running out of time. Yes? What does it look like I'm doing here? Oh. We'll do nothing. First you kill him and then you cheat me. How stupid do I really look? How stupid! <laughs> Getting myself into this company has shown me the real situation of things. So for that, my friend, it is you I must warn not to mess with me. Do you understand? Listen, give me my fair share and it will disappear. Otherwise... Hey. What are you doing? What? I just came by. Oh, yeah. The global deal went through and they need your net. I'm sure that's not why you came all this way, just to tell me that. I know I haven't been fair to you, and you've done nothing but prove how sorry you are. You like him, don't you? Oh, please don't start with that again. Ah! No, no. I didn't mean it that way. Just trying to bond with my sister. Wait, he just he just called me your sister. Thank you. Well, to be honest, it's, it's you he really, really likes. I've never seen him force over anybody the way he does with you. I can't be in a relationship right now. It won't be fair to the dude. Why would you say that, Valerie? You are Valerie the strong, Valerie the independent, the kind-hearted. Although it takes people a while to see that kind-hearted part of us. <laughs> you left the aggressive, rude, and stubborn. Valerie, none of us is perfect. None of us. Besides, that's the only way to survive in this competitive world. Since life doesn't hand anybody anything. You only see good in people. I guess I had to forget that part of you. I'm sure that's my fault as well. 
Okay, you're right. Let's go to my office and have some drinks. Can I help you with your bag? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what dad would say if he could see us right now. And my mom would die of heart attack if she sees us together. <laughs> oh my god. I really like this hair. Is it a wig? <laughs> Valerie. Valerie, where's your hair? Do you have it in your hand? No, 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 I'm not playing, Valerie. I'm not playing. I know how your hair normally looks. And, and What happened to your hair? I'm sick. I've been diagnosed with cancer. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, do, you, what do you mean cancer? What, what kind of cancer? How, how bad is it? Freedom. Wait, I asked you a question. How bad is it? We all die someday. Oh my, oh my god. Are you dying? Wait. Do, do, does anyone else know? Do, does Joe know? You don't dare tell me. Well, then he has a right to know. No, he doesn't. They stay between us, okay? Sorry, that was a global call. Like, they're ready to get started with the contract. Okay, so you have to tell me one of those secrets of yours. You know you're a miracle worker. Maybe someday. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Why? Like, something is weighing on your mind. Frida, what is it? Nothing. I'm fine. No, no, you're not. Life is not fair. Life is not fair to everyone. That's, that's the way the world works. Yeah. Anyway, have you eaten anything? No, don't do this. What? I just want to get you something to eat. Now you're getting me curious, Frida. And I'm getting pissed. Why are you acting like this? You're becoming exactly like your sister. I keep trying to get close to her, but she frustrates my every move. I thought you and I were closer. You have to promise to keep it to yourself. Okay, I, I promise. No, Joe, I'm serious. That means you can't tell anyone. I promise to everything. Just spill. Look at you. Valerie. Valerie has cancer. My sister has cancer. I'm not sure what type or what stage it's in, but... But it must be really bad because all her hair has fallen off. She has cancer. Valerie has cancer. Take off your wig. What? You heard me. I said, take off your wig. I will take it off myself if you don't do it. You wouldn't dare. Try me. Valerie, for once, do as I have said, please. It's okay, you don't deserve this. Please.
はい、ビーはい This month, there's something I want us to discuss. It's about Valerie's cancer. You know the rules, Joe. I can't tell you anything. I do not mean to pry, okay? But you and I know how I feel about her. This month, I am trying to understand this too, so we can, we can help her pull through and, and, and accept it. She has brain cancer. Hers was, was not detected early, so... Which is why she's been experiencing headaches and a host of other symptoms. Lord. We can try chemo or radiotherapy, but that's all we can do. Is there nothing more we can do? Unfortunately, there's nothing more we can do. Desmond, you're a doctor. Don't tell me there's nothing more. Yeah. I thought I heard it very well. Yeah, uh, this one came around. Oh. <laughs> How is my girl? I'm better. How are you? Carol? Yeah? Do I have something on my face? Everyone. Mm. Carol, Carol. Meet everyone. Where do you think he gets them? Sorry, hi. Hey. I'm hungry. Put your sofa. I, I do. Get no, no, no. No, no, I, I, no, no, I have to no, I know, I know. Wait, no, I Um, I will help too. Okay. I just going to show you Oh. Yeah. Bam. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Whoa, now she takes it around. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, there we go. Ow. Ow. Wait, who's just going to show you what's up with me, that? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry. Ow, oh, okay, hang on. Hang on, again. You? Yeah. Larry. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, let me just take this. <laughs> Hello? I'm on my way. I said I'm on my way. What do you want? Is that still a question? I want my own share of the money. That's what I want. What money? <laughs> Did you call me here to play games? Fine. Your funeral. Hey, 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 hey. Come back. Come back here. You're still as greedy as ever like your sister. Listen, leave my sister out of this. All right, okay. Fine. Fine. I will get you the money. But you must promise me something. You will get your greedy ass out of this town. Fine. Hey, baby. Get the money. May I introduce to you the brain behind the scene?
Hello, dear. It's always the rats in the house that invites the bush rats in. Look, you are the rat. How I wish your dad was here to see that you're the one responsible for his death. Do you think we should give her the money? No, I do not think we should. Because she's been a terrible, terrible sister to my very good friend. You are not her friend! Oh, please, who cares? Uh, I was also thinking, shall we let her go? I oh, know. No, we cannot let her go. Listen, all I want is my own fair share of the money and I can live your lives forever. Simple. Yes, you will. But that's only because I'll make you. So, this is all you have? <laughs> oh, brave girl. Not like her father. Oh, yes. Your father. What do you think killed him? My genius, of course. I know your dad was already halfway there, you know, with the complications of diabetes and all that. But I just notched him a little. This way! <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Except you do not want the chance to say your last prayer. Spoiled brat. All I ever did was pick up after Valerie. Now I cannot wait to see her face when she realizes I've taken everything she holds dear to her heart. What did she ever do to you? You didn't have to do anything for someone to hate you. Enough of this chit chat. This is not a movie. Guys, shoot her. Hey. What are you waiting for? Shoot her! <laughs> What's come over you two? Is this a joke or something? If this is a joke, then I'm the only one laughing, Miss Awana. You were going to have me killed? Me! If I could plan against my own father, who the hell are you to think I can't take you down? Who? Money answers everything. You this cheap man, all I had to do was oil the palms of your underpaid thug and they sold you out. Snitch. If I'm a snitch, then I'm the smarter snitch because the guns are on you. Gentlemen, do me a favor. Take these murderers away. Arrest these thugs. You are both under arrest for the murder of Dr. Uche Usifu. <coughs> But if I move, move us. Come on, move. Look, what this hotel is. You can say that again, man. Seriously. You can say it again. <laughs> I now understand why you're always there. See, I went upstairs. The rooms were chushed. Really? The bar was stopped. Really? The restaurant was something else. Come on. <laughs> Get yeah, out about it. Oh, now you see why I come here. That's why it's your home, right? Oh, well, I'll make it my second home, too. How long have you been standing there? Not very long. How's your mama? She's dead. What? I'm sorry to hear this. Accept my sympathy. It's been four months, but she's in a better place now. Your father never mentioned this. And, um... But it was the same period that Flora, Valerie's mother, also died. She's dead? Yeah. She died about five months ago. <laughs> The rich also die. Be nice. <laughs> Doesn't even make any difference anyway. I'm just tired of being at the mercy of my father and his... I don't even know why they did the things they did. It's too late to care now, but... 
I tried so hard to reach out to my father so many times in so many ways. He was too much of a coward to do it himself, so he made his wife frustrate my every move. But now what's done is done. Are you sure about this? What you're talking, are you? I wouldn't be sitting here telling you what I'm about to tell you if I wasn't. Sawana, you're the only one. You're the only person who ever tried to protect me and my mother from my stepmother. And that's why I'm coming to you with this. You said you have a proposition for me. Yes. Go ahead. You see, on some days, my father might seem like a good man, but on most days, he's not. You've been working for him for how many years? Decades. What do you even have to show for it? Well. Nothing. I want to make him pay. I want to drain him, squeeze him of everything he has. Are you sure about this? Do you want to do this? All I need for you to do, convince him to venture into an oil deal. I'll get you all the documents you need. You leave the rest to me. I'm going to make him pay. When I'm done, he will have nothing but regrets to suckle on. I need somebody on the inside, Mr. Wana. I can't do this by myself. I need someone like you. Someone who can convince him. Somebody who nobody will suspect. All you have to do is give me my 60% when the money hits your account. Listen, you don't have to give me an answer now. Just. Think about it, okay? But remember what you have to gain from all of this. This is my card. If you're game, give me a call. If not, simply ignore. It was nice seeing you again, Mr. Alwana. Regards to the family. I will. Be good. Hey, baby. Yeah, it's me. Meet me at Three J's Hotel. Yeah, I'm there immediately. Okay. We have a pawn. A willing one at that. And who's the lucky fool? Freda. Freda. Yes. Valerie's sister. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> the doctor's bastard child. Ain't it always the bastards? That is good news. Very good news. You know, I, I'm a little worried because she's your best friend and... Uh, you have sure. nothing to worry about. I've been working on this for months and then you ask me now? After you made me put up with her bratty attitude. I just want to be sure that... Uh, I hate it when you question my readiness. I hate it. I can be as ruthless as you, you know. Uh-huh. I know. That's why I love you, you know. So when do we start? Pronto. Can't wait another day. <laughs> I'd love to drink to that baby. Now I'll finally get a chance to get back to that bitch. Ah, oh, I cannot wait to see the look on her face when I take everything that belongs to her. Everything. But you see, I'm a little worried what kind of trouble we're going to get into when they realize all this. You don't worry about that. 
Just focus on getting us the money while I clean up the mess. I have access to the house, you know. Chief Osifo is sick, and I'm left in charge of everything while that beach travels around the world. All I need to do is find a non-traceable poison to spice his early morning tea. And in no time, <laughs> we'll be throwing parties. Evil genius. <laughs> you sure have it all planned out. Yes. She knows. Frida, Frida told her everything. Yes, everything. Okay. Okay. All right, later, bye. I was afraid I would lose you. I swung into action as soon as I got your text message. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. Why? You were my best friend. Ask me why did you kill my father? I didn't mean to. But I thought to myself, what the heck? He was already halfway there, so I decided to finish him off. Since you were too busy to be a daughter, I am always the maid. <laughs> I decided to help myself. All for a pair of handcuffs. You will get what you deserve, you and this old fool. At least now you know. Nobody's perfect. I pity your family. Look, Valerie, we save it for the jury. Take them home. Move. Move. Now move, move, move. Madame, you move. Well played, girl. Well played. <sighs> I knew you could do it. But I'm sorry. It's okay. That will depend on you. What's going on with Are you okay? Are you okay, Valerie? Valerie! 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 Are you okay? Uh, Val Valerie! Oh my god, Val Valerie! Wait, wait, wait. Put her in the car. Put her in the car. Because she can drive. Take her to the back. Oh, well, yes. I'm free. I'm free. Yeah. I came straight from the office. I forgot to tell you guys, we were able to retrieve all the money to the last time from Mr. Wana and his cohorts. Wow. See? I'm happy now. Even if I die, I'll die the morning that I fall to that woman. No, you won't. And the nurse will soon be here to take you for your chemo. Huh? I want you to know that come rain, come shine, we will always, always be there for you. Yes, always, okay? Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. You're going to be okay. Alright? Oh, don't you believe in miracles? Because I believe in miracles. Joe, how about you? Do you believe in miracles? Oh, yes, I do. He does. There's one. Of course I do. See, we all do. We believe so. Valerie, you need to believe. You need to be strong for us. Okay? Thank mm -hmm. you. 